Hello, hello. I decided to record some quick tutorials on how to use VMS and uh, to cover some more advanced stuff or maybe something that is interesting and is not covered in the user manual. I know that our user manual is 500 pages long, but still it doesn't cover everything, uh, especially some more advanced configuration styles or uh, some tips and tricks. So I think that this video tutorial will be the, the, the most user friendly, let's say it will be easier to share and also to check uh, by you. So uh, today, today we're going to answer one question uh, that I received often from, from the customers. It's, uh, do we have any kind of uh, supported joysticks uh, for our VMS, like a list of supported devices that you can use to control PTZ cameras, for example? And the answer is no, you don't need this kind of list because uh, this VMS doesn't require like dedicated devices uh, to work. If you can connect something to your client uh, station, to your monitor station, and it's detected by Windows as a device, as a controller, you can use it. So to show you that it's actually true, uh, let me just switch this camera here. Let me zoom out. Yeah, this is me. Sorry for the delay because I'm, I'm using just five megapixel IP camera. So. Yeah, and uh, here is uh, PS5 uh, Bluetooth controller. And because I'm, I'm using laptop as on my client station, there is Bluetooth receiver here, and uh, this, this controller is detected by Windows and is visible here. And because it's visible in Windows, I can go here, I can go to the command mapping in my client station, and it's visible here, and I can map any buttons from this controller to use inside my system. To show you that I'm actually using this controller, uh, let me also uh, turn on something that is it's really cool. Uh, because, you know, we have something that is called cross-link integration. Uh, here are the web pages, and I added this one, this, uh, let's say, web page one here. But actually, this is just HTML interface. Any web interface can be added to our VMS just like a camera and you can record it and you can control the web interface. Actually, you can add another computer, just like with a remote desktop, you can add it inside the VMS. That's why I'm, I, I have uh, Doom here and I can actually play play Doom, yeah, in, in this window. So yeah, basically you can, you can do whatever you want. So using this web interface, let me just switch from this map or maybe not from the map, let's, Let's close this Doom. I don't need this one. And, and I think the camera will be more useful. I mean the map. So you can see the controller here. And now if I push the button, like this circle one, you will see that on this interface here, that it's highlighting it. So I'm, I'm pushing the uh, square or the circle one. So I can use this controller to move around the cameras also I can use this controller to switch from screen, I mean from monitor to monitor. So I can control the video wall here. Also, I can choose specific camera on the video wall. And for example, like here, I can go to the full screen of this, uh, of this camera. Also, if I move around the cameras, you can also notice on the map that uh, the camera will be highlighted. The camera that I'm looking currently right now, and it, if it's visible on the map, it will be also highlighted. What else I can uh, I can do with it? So let me go to this panoramic camera here, and because this panoramic camera is uh, it doesn't support uh, normal PTZ, uh, if I move uh, this part here, uh, those sticks, it will enable digital zoom. So it's something like virtual uh, PTZ camera. It's really great if you use fisheye cameras or multi-sensor cameras. You can use this when this this thing, and it's much better than uh, just normal camera, right? Because it can be both. It, it still records everything, but you can control it just like uh, like a PTZ camera. If you have a, a PTZ camera, or like in this case, this five megapixel here, it supports motorized zoom lens, so I can use zoom in and zoom out, just like with the PTZ camera. Also, uh, if I use uh, digital zoom in and zoom out, I can save the preset points. 
So if I've noticed something that is interesting in my uh, opinion, right, like here, I can just leave it here and it will just stay with this uh, digital uh, digital zoom. Uh, so you can you can use this way or like here. What else? You can also uh, control custom buttons and uh, alarm inputs, outputs from the cameras, different devices. So for example, here, if I push this one here, it will turn on the light here. So you can really control everything with this PS5 controller. I'm not saying that you should, but you can. So uh, no dedicated list. Of course, uh, we have some, some, some devices that we uh, recommend, let's say, uh, like uh, the Axis uh, keyboard and, and joystick. It works quite well. Uh, but still, if you want to use just normal joystick or normal uh, keyboard or PS5 controller or anything that you connect using the USB to your, uh, to your station, you, are, you can use it. What the hell he is doing there? Yeah, so this is it. Thanks. If you have any more questions or maybe you want to, to cover something, just send me a message on, on LinkedIn or uh, on Facebook and, and we're going to cover it on the next episode uh, of the webinar. Thanks.